solve this equation. It says a polynomial equation of degree nine. We can solve this problem by using the rational root theorem. However, this might be complicated. So we'll solve this problem using a simpler method, the substitution method. This term is something cubed. 27 is three cubed. If three x minus two is also something cubed, then we have a difference of two cubed. We add three x minus two equal y cubed. Then the given equation becomes x cubed plus two or cubed minus three y or cubed equals zero. A cubed minus b cubed can be written as a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. By applying this, the left hand side of the equation can be written as x cubed plus 2 minus 3y times x cubed plus 2 or squared plus 3 times x cubed plus 2 times y plus 3y or squared equals 0. So either x cubed plus 2 minus 3y equals 0 or x cubed plus 2 or squared plus 3 times x cubed plus 2 times y plus 3y or squared equals 0. Case 1, x cubed plus 2 minus 3y equals 0. Case 2, x cubed plus 2 or squared plus 3 times x cubed plus 2 times y plus 3y or squared equals 0. By rearranging the equation, we can now write x cubed equals 3y minus 2. We know that y cubed equals 3x minus 2. Equation 1 minus equation 2, x cubed minus y cubed equals 3 times y minus x. By applying this rule, x cubed minus y cubed can be written as x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. By moving 3 times y minus x to the left hand side of the equation, it can now be written as plus 3 times x minus y. You can see that the two terms have a common factor, x minus y. So we can now write x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared plus 3 equals 0. So either x minus y equals 0 or x squared plus xy plus y squared plus 3 equals 0. Case 1a, x minus y equals 0. Case 1b, x squared plus xy plus y squared plus 3 equals 0. By substituting x equals y in equation 1, we can now write x cubed minus 3x plus 
two equals zero. And two can be written as minus one plus three. By applying this, x cubed minus one can be written as x minus one times x squared plus x plus one minus three x plus three can be factorized and can be written as minus three times x minus one. We can see that the two terms have a common factor, x minus one. By factorizing, and we can now write x minus one times x squared plus x minus two. We can factorize x squared plus x minus two and write x minus one times x plus two. So x one two equals one x three equals minus two. Y squared can be written as y squared over four plus three y squared over four. The first three terms can be written as a perfect square x plus y over two or squared. The first two terms are both greater than or equal to zero. So the left hand sides of the equation can't equal zero. So the equation has no real solutions. So this case is discarded. Similarly, three y or squared can be written as nine y squared over four plus twenty-seven y squared over four. Now the left hand side of the equation can be written as x cubed plus two plus three y over two or squared plus twenty-seven y squared over four. If the sum of two squares equals zero, then each term must equal zero. The y equals zero x cubed plus two equals zero. We know that three x minus two equals y cubed, which is zero. So x equals two over three. Then x cubed plus two can't equal zero. So the equation has no real solutions. So the case is discarded. Music